Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to work with Homebridge and how to keep Homebridge running on a consistent basis. Now one of the things that I've been asked since I've been doing this Homebridge series and a series on some smart home devices is the question becomes, well, what happens when Homebridge stops running? How do I know it stopped running? How do I start it back up? What happens if I restart my Mac? If I'm running it on my Mac and then Homebridge isn't running, then I lose connection to all my devices and all of that. And so uh, I've had that question. So what I thought I would do is show you one of the easiest ways to make this work. And so what I'm going to show you is an application called Launch Control by Soma Zone Software. So Launch Control is an application that allows you to actually create, manage, and debug LaunchD services. And so LaunchD is, uh, is the service that automatically launches applications. You can set this to launch applications in the background uh, and even take a look at all of the different things that are running uh, in the background uh, on your system. And so you can look at things like you know uh, your sy system daemons, your... Uh, different things that you have starting up in, in different config lists and uh, all that sort of thing. And it'll also tell you what's not working right with your particular uh, issues with LaunchD or some of those devices. Uh, the other thing it does too is it just gives you a lot of different ways to configure these variables so that you can determine how and when you want these things to launch. So let me uh, take a look at what this looks like. Let me show you how I've got it set up for Homebridge. If I just put this down here, this is the uh, launch control application. And you'll notice right here under user agents, I've got a local.homebridge uh, label here where I'm running a program and I'm running Homebridge. And so what I've done is I've set it up at the uh, user local bin node and we've got user local bin Homebridge. And so this is how you would put this in, just like this, you would add it. And then what we do is we add a standard output. Now what you're gonna do is grab your information from over here. And you can see we've got a standard output, you got program to run. And so what will happen is if I just grab one of these, let's say standard out path, if I grab that and bring that in, it's going to add it. You can see how that's kind of blinking there. That's because I've already added that in there and it's all set and ready to go. But I could add other factors as well. And you can see all these different factors that allow me to do things like start on mount, uh, on demand. Uh, and then I've got this keep alive. And so what I've done is I've set up, and, and you can see just all the different things that you can do over here uh, to work with this to set up your own formulas for when things, let's say, time out and uh, all that sort of thing. So what I've done is I've created this particular setup where I've got program to run. I've got this right here. And I've got that set and ready to go. Then I, re I pulled out a standard output. And what I've got is a local uh, output here for Homebridge and a standard error output. So that that way I've got files that will uh, be put in these locations that tell me, uh, you know, how the actual uh, Homebridge launch is doing, where it's had errors and things like that, that allows me to troubleshoot, troubleshoot a little easier. Then I put uh, a run at load and I've got that box checked. And that's very important. Uh, because what that does is that means whenever I load the uh, computer, you can see run it load is right here. I just drag this out and put it here. Uh, whatever I run the computer, whenever I load it, it's going to actually start Homebridge and get it running. And then I've also got this keep alive that I grabbed from here and moved out here. And I've got keep alive no matter what. Now I can say don't keep alive or keep alive according to the following rules. And I can set up various rules if I want to do that. But in this case, I want to keep alive no matter what. Now, in doing that, uh, what I've done now is this is automatically going to run in the background. That means it's going to keep Homebridge running. So it's a great application to make that happen. Uh, a couple of other things, if you ever want to do a new one, you just hit the plus down here. But just to show you some of the things you have control over, uh, you can take a look at global agents as well. If you've got any of those running or global uh, daemons running, you can see here we've got uh, server running. And you can see the uh, global server daemon right here. And it gives me a little bit of information uh, on what's happening there. And I can, again, add things to this as well. I, I would advise against it with things that you're running like this. So again, here's Docker. Uh, that I've been uh, using here. And you can see I don't have the option to work with it. I've got to move into expert mode to do it. Uh, but you can see it's uh, it's a, they got a listener on the socket. It's Unix. You can see the stream. I mean, it's just got a lot of different things here. Again, probably way more than you uh, might need to know or work with, but I just wanted to show you the power of the application. You can see all of our system agents in here, and it just says, hey, don't mess around in here because these things are required uh, to run the system. But you can see here all the different Apple uh, system stuff. So here's uh, things like AirPlay. 
And so here's all the information on AirPlay and when it launches and uh, the different services that are available there and that sort of thing. And again, it's got another keep alive no matter what and run it load and all that sort of thing. And you can go through here and see all, all of the different services that are available. Uh, and those are my system agents. I've also got system daemons uh, that are running uh, on startup. And then I can set up a server daemons. And so these are things related to the actual uh, Mac server that I've got running in the background here. And so you can see all the collab stuff and you can see some of the, again, just some of the services that are related specifically to server. And some of these are unloaded right now. You can see those that are uh, you know, unchecked and all of that. Uh, you can see there's the calendar servers running and software update and all those kind of services here. So it is nice to be able to kind of go through and take a look at some of the services that are running. Uh, you can set up custom agents and custom daemons as well, and you can also set up templates if you want. So let's just go ahead and go back to our user agents that I've got set up right here and go back into Homebridge. Now, one of the great things about this application is that even when the application itself is closed, let's say I put that down, up here in the toolbar, I've got a menu bar item, and you can see that right here, I can see if Homebridge is running anytime I want. That green dot means it's running. I can unload it, I can stop it right here, or I can edit it and launch control. And to get any of your services up here, you just go to Preferences, and what you do is you come in here and you search for the agent that you wanna add, which is what I did right here. You add to the job definitions, and when you do that, it shows up right here that it's all set and ready to go. And when that happens, then it will show up here in the toolbar at the top. Uh, you can always delete it and reconfigure this however you want, depending on what it is that you want to watch uh, as you're doing that. Let me just go ahead and close this down, and then I'll uh, pull the application up here. So that's uh, Launch Control. Again, it's a great uh, GUI to allow you to take a look at how to do things like keep Homebridge running. And that should be an easy way for you to be able to monitor your own Homebridge setup on your Mac. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.